Hello, and welcome to another video by ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to Minitools Partition Wizard a version 11.6. Now, I've done videos in the past for Minitool. Uh, the last one I've done for them was the Data Recovery, which was a very handy tool. And this version here has some new features that they've added to it. Uh, for instance, it has Disk Benchmark, which uh, can test your drive's abilities. Uh, disk Usage, to help you show the space. And Data Recovery, which they've integrated into the Minitool Partition Wizard, and I will show you how to use them. And one of the new software they've uh, came out with is the Minitool Shadow Maker. Uh, it's a backup tool that you can use to back up your hard drive and your computer in the event of a crash or a hardware failure, you can restore your data. Now, I will be doing a separate video for the Minitool Shadow Maker, so stay tuned for that. Now, the Partition Wizard version 11.6 uh, supports Windows XP, Vista 7, 8, and version 10. Uh, for Windows 8 and 10, it also supports the UEFI boot uh, function. Three different versions that you can use. The free version, which is a basic uh, partition wizard. Uh, you can create, you can format, you can merge partitions. Uh, you can even migrate the operating system or copy uh, partitions. But there are some limitations, which I will go to through later on in other videos. Now, this does not provide data or partition recovery or dynamic disk management. It requires no license and it cannot be used in business environments. The pro version provides all the functions, including dynamic disk and partition recovery. It also includes the bootable media. So in the event that your computer crashes or it won't boot, the, boot media, the bootable media can allow you to boot your computer to help repair it. Now, this does not include the data recovery. The pro version is licensed for one PC only, and it can be used in a business environment. The Pro Ultimate provides all the options, including data recovery and bootable media. You can also use it on dynamic disks. The Pro Ultimate can also be licensed up to three PCs, and it can also be used in a business environment. Now, Partition Wizard supports FAT, FAT32, NTFS, Extended FAT, versions 1 through 4, it also supports Linux swap and unformatted partitions. Now, as a side note, the Linux swap is a special partition used specifically to swap pages of memory to the hard drive. It's similar to the swap file or page file used by, by Windows, with the exception that no other data can be stored on this partition. Now, let me show you some of the other features. Disk benchmark, will test the speed of the hard drive. The data can help determine if there may be an issue with the hard drive. And I will show the feature and show you how to use it so you can test your own hard drive. Uh, you can see how fast that the hard drive can transfer, read, write data for different functions. And it does come in handy because this sh shows you how the hard drive can perform under different uh, operations. Another feature that is used in the mini tool partition wizard is disk usage. Now this comes in handy if you're running low on space. Disk usage will help see what is taking up the space. Partition recovery, which does come in handy, so if something happens to the partition, if you make a mistake, deleted a partition that you didn't mean to, or maybe perhaps you had a virus or something on the computer that caused data corruption on the hard drive. Well, this partition recovery can help recover partitions that became lost or deleted. Now, this is only available in Pro and Pro Ultimate versions, and it's not to be confused with data recovery. Data recovery is a good tool when a problem has occurred, such as the operating system fails to boot, files were deleted, drive was reformatted, and so forth. Now, this version is only available in the 
Pro Ultimate version. Surface Test is a troubleshooting tool to check the hard drive's ability to read data from all the sectors on the hard drive. Uh, if there are bad sectors on there, this was pointed out. Now, one bad sector is not bad, but if you start getting, seeing an, an increased number in bad sectors, then you need to get the drive replaced as soon as possible. Now, if you want to replace the hard drive, like let's say you want to upgrade your hard drive and get a larger hard drive, or perhaps that you want to switch from the traditional hard drive to the solid state drive, what this will do is it will copy the entire system disk to another hard drive or solid state drive. Then you can just switch out the drives and the computer will reboot from the new drive. Another good feature that you will want is the wipe disk tool. And this is great for piracy mu privacy must. This tool will securely erase any hard drive or solid state drive to ensure data recovery is impossible. Check file system is a handy tool when bad sectors have been found by the surface test or as a regular check on the hard drive. It will determine if there are any problems with the filing system. And if selected, it can also fix detected errors. It's similar to the check disk command in Windows. Bootable media is a tool to create a mini tool bootable disk. In the event your computer will not boot, the bootable media can be used to boot the PC into the Windows pre-installation environment. Then load the mini tool partition wizard to help repair or recover data from the hard drive. You can use a CD, DVD, or a USB flash disk. You can also create an ISO file if you need to burn the, the image to a on another computer for creating a CD or a DVD. In the event that your computer is not able to boot up, it's possible that there may be a problem with the master boot record. The mini tool partition wizard can help rebuild the master boot record. The master boot record is an important part of the hard drive because it contains all the information on the partitions and how the, inf the information is stored on that drive. On the final part of this video, uh, as you can see here, this is the, uh, the main homepage for Mini Tool Partition Wizard Pro. Uh, down here, uh, you'll see the uh, information about each partition and drive. Uh, it shows their capacity, how much space is used, uh, how much space is free, the type of file system they use, and the type of partition that they are. Uh, even shows you what the status or function for that particular partition. Um, in upcoming videos, I will go into details about these different uh, functions. Uh, down here, you also see, you know, a graphical display of the partitions and the drives. Uh, even shows what kind of format they use, whether it's GPT or MBR. Uh, down here in the bottom, it's color-coded. Uh, this shows you the type of primary, uh, if it's a logical, a simple, uh, if it's a RAID, um, if it's unformatted span. It uh, gives you a, a graphical detail as to how your drive is set up. Now, if you have any questions or uh, need some help trying to do something, they also included the manual, which you'll find up here in the upper right-hand corner. Uh, you can click that, and it will always bring up uh, manuals for you to use uh, for different functions. Now, I will be doing some other videos pertaining to Mini2 Partition Wizard, so stay tuned for those videos as I show you exactly how to do a, the most common uh, features. Plus, I'm going to also show you the data recovery, the partition recovery, uh, the space analyzer, disk benchmark. And once uh, I get the Shadow Maker set up, I'm going to go through that and I'll be doing a separate video for that. So stay tuned. I will be having some more videos be coming out uh, soon. So I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. Thank you for watching.